It says the Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness, but is patient towards you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. Now, what's Peter doing? He's reminding us that there's two kinds of slowness in the world. And we'll use a landlord to illustrate them. Right, you got one landlord who doesn't come to pick up the rent. And the reason he doesn't come to pick up the rent is the same reason he doesn't come to fix the roof or the faucet. It's because the guy's lazy. It's because he's just negligent. It's because he's not motivated to do what he'd said he would do. So he's slow to pick up the rent for the same reason he's slow to do everything else. Then you got another guy who's on top of picking up the rent, but he knows you don't have the money. And he's like, I'll wait another week. But his waiting is not because of his negligence, because of your need. He's waiting for your good, not because of his negligence. And in the case of God, the reason he allows evil to go on so long, the reason he allows the day of God not to happen so fast is for this, so that more and more and more people can repent. He's patient. Peter will say later in the chapter, count the patience of God as salvation. Beloved, what this meant to me as I was thinking about this this week was this, the reason today exists is so that the people I know can be saved. The reason there is another day is so that the people of Tunisia or Egypt, or Morocco, can hear the gospel. The main reason today exists is not primarily, I'm saying primarily, so that you can fit in all the things you need to do in your 80 years. The reason today exists is because God wants more people to be saved than are currently saved, and he's willing to prolong human history to get them into his kingdom which means that every time you rub the sleep out of your eyes, there ought to be this awareness. Today exists for evangelistic purposes. The reason the heavens have not been destroyed, the reason the final judgment has not come is this reason, patience. The patience of God. And as one preacher put it, Alistair Begg actually, if that were to just to grip us for a minute, maybe we'd even just all leave the service right now and start calling friends and family who we know are under the imminent judgment of God, but unbelievably have been given another day to repent. And, and maybe the phone call would look something like this. I, I know, you know I'm a Christian, but I've been wanting to talk to you about this, haven't got a chance to talk to you about this, can I talk to you about it right now? Or can we have coffee this week? I, I just don't want to presume on the patience of God. For him, time is long, but for me, it's very short. And he's extended this day so that you can be saved.